Computers are good for holding lots of things. Operating systems, programs, documents, cryptocurrency, family photo, other things. And of course, games. Can't forget about those games that we love to play to help us forget about our tragic, tormented existence in this dark pit of despair that gets deeper and deeper year after year while our youth and vitality is sucked out of us and floats away like dust in the wind. Games are great for that. But tech dweebs like me and probably you and probably this guy have more than one computer to play games on. Maybe you've got a PC in your room in your mom's basement, like I do, and another PC on the TV in your mom's living room, like I do, and another PC in your dork den, like I do, and a mountain of mini PCs that you like to tinker with and play games on, like I do. And installing the same games on each of those computers can be a pain in the buns especially if you need to download those games on slow internet, like I do. So, what do you do? Do you give up the hobby of PC gaming and take up knitting? Well, maybe. But maybe try this little trick instead of taking drastic measures like learning to knit. I made a video recently where I was testing a mini PC and I did this thing that I often do and I plugged in a hard drive that had some Steam games on it. It's a thing that I thought was pretty common but I got a, a, quite a few comments from people who thanked me for the tip. They, they didn't know that you could do that. And that gave me an idea and the, the idea was to make this video. A video showing you a simple but important thing. How to make your own Steam Games Drive. An external drive that you can use to store your Steam Games on. And then how to move that between computers and pick the drive in Steam on different computers so that you don't need to re-download your games again. It's freaking super convenient to do this. It's easy as heck once you know how. And if you've ever wondered how to do it, then wonder no longer. Because I'm going to show you today. And I'm not even going to ask for anything in return. I spoil you, you know that. So what do you need? Well, you need a computer that has your games and you'll need another computer that you want those games to also be on. Pretty straightforward, I think. <laughs> That's why we're here, right? But then you'll also need an external drive. Pretty much any external drive will do the job, really. So that would be like a USB flash drive if you don't have a ton of games that you want to store. Or you could go with a, a huge big boy hard drive if you have lots of games that you want to bring with you from one computer to another. Like this 4 gigabyte Western Digital Black P10 games drive that I've been using up until now. Or you can go with an SSD if you want very fast storage. They make external SSDs that you can buy or you can just use an NVMe SSD with an enclosure. That's what I'm going to be using today. This one actually. The new Lexar Play 2230 NVMe SSD. This is the same drive that I used in a, a recent video, the Steam Deck upgrade video. And this was sent to me by Lexar and they're sponsoring this video as well. And I'll tell you more about this drive at the end of the video, but the reason that I wanted to use this was because this should, in theory, be just about the fastest possible external drive that you can get. The downside is that you'll need an enclosure since we're not installing this internally. This is the enclosure that I'm using. It's a Bikel tool-free NVMe enclosure. I will include links to all this stuff in the description below. The way this enclosure works is pretty simple. You slide it open like this and then pop in that adorable little NVMe drive. This enclosure can hold NVMe drives of various sizes. Everything from the little guys like this one to the big boys. And then you lock it in place with this little tab and slide it shut. What I like about this setup is that it has a high speed USB 3.2 connection via USB-C. But it also has the option to use a USB-A connection instead if your PC doesn't have USB-C. So now that that's ready, should we do this thing? I'll answer for you. Y yes. All right, here we are. This is my PC. It's my gaming and testing and editing rig. It's like a mid-range gaming PC. It has an i5, 10400, 16 gigabytes of DDDDR4 RAM at 3200 megahertz, 12 gigabyte RTX 3060 GPU, and a 512 gigabyte internal NVMe SSD. And a second two terabyte internal mechanical hard drive for game storage. And nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. 
But as you know, I test lots of computers. I'm always firing up mini PCs or handheld gaming PCs, and I don't want to have to re-download all my games on every freaking device that I play with. So let's do the thing. We're going to set up an external games drive on this computer that will be used to store games, and then we'll plug that drive into a different PC, and we'll be able to play those games on Steam. It's like magic, but real. No, not that magic isn't real. If you're a wizard, then uh, cl click the thumbs up button. Our first step is to plug in the drive and get it ready. All you need to do is plug that drive in and then make sure that it gets mounted in Windows as a drive. If it does, then that's it. That's all you got to do. But I'll give you an optional bonus tip here. Uh, what I like to do is to set the drive letter of this drive to always stay the same. So that way Steam always knows which drive this is. And you won't have to set it up again if a different drive takes that drive letter. The way that you do that is to open up Disk Utility and then find our external drive. And you can right click on the partition area of that drive on the right and then select Change Drive Letter and Paths and in here click Change. And now you can choose a drive letter for this drive. Let's choose something way down the alphabet. Let's go with Drive X. Not only does it sound extreme, but it's so low in the list that it probably won't ever create a conflict. This is good practice for an external drive that you always want to have the same drive letter, which we do in this case, so that Steam knows where those games are every time. So now we have the games drive ready to take some games, but it has nothing on it right now. Actually, that's not true. I have a picture of your mom on it. But other than that, it's empty. Let's use Steam to create a Steam library on this drive, and we'll add some of our games to the drive. Open up Steam and then open the settings, and in here on the left, select Storage. In this area, you'll see your main games drive listed at the top. It's probably your C drive. Click that drop-down menu and select Add Drive. And in here, you're going to select the drive that we've prepared. It'll be the X drive, if you're following my steps, and click Add. And now you should have two drives listed under your drives menu, your main games drive and your new external drive. So now we can fill that drive up with games. You can download games right to the drive. So when you go to install a game, it'll ask you which drive you want to install it on, and you can choose your external drive, and then it'll download and you can play the game off your external drive. The loading speed will depend on the speed of your drive, obviously. If you're loading off a USB flash drive, your games might load quick enough that it's not a problem for you. However, you'll probably notice it a lot more in larger games. But if you're on an NVMe drive in an enclosure like I am here, you'll be getting about six times faster speeds than a slower USB flash drive or mechanical hard drive. That's the main reason that I'm excited to have this setup, this enclosure with this Lexar drive, because waiting for games to load is boring, and I don't have time to be bored. I have important stuff to do, trust me. However, you don't need to re-download games that you already have installed, because you can copy those games back and forth between any of your Steam drives. To do that, you can go to any game that you have installed, open up the properties, go to Installed Files, select Move Install Folder, and then use the drop-down to choose the drive that you want to move the game to. And just like the game loading, the speed that you will get here will depend on the speed of your drive and the connection. And now we have an external games drive, and it has games on it. I installed a bunch of indie games, moved over some bigger AAA games. So now let's take that drive over to a different PC and play those games. I'm going to use this new mini PC to do some gaming. This is the Geekom A7. I've been playing with this thing and testing it out for a video. It's freaking awesome. Really powerful little gaming PC. I, I'm going to have a dedicated video on this thing because it's probably my new favorite little mini PC that I've tested. For now, let's just get some Steam games working on it. You'll need Steam installed on the new machine, so go ahead and do that. And then you're ready to plug in your games drive. Because this thing has a USB-C hole, I can use the high-speed USB 3.2 connection of this enclosure. And when that's plugged in and detected, you can add it like this, but I'm going to do the same thing that I did before and set this to drive letter X. And then once that's done, we need to add the Steam library on the drive to Steam. And you know how to do that. I already showed you that. Uh, what, what's that? You've forgotten already? Oh my god, you have the attention span of a goldfish, I swear. Alright, I'll show you again. Open up Steam, open the settings, go to storage, use the drop down to add a drive, select your games drive from the list, click add, and that's that's it. That's what, that's what you gotta do. 
But look at that. Instantly in Steam, all the games on that drive are part of the Steam library on this machine. Just open up your library and you'll, you'll see them there. Everything that you have on the drive is uh, in Steam now under your installed games. You can load up those games, play the games, and they work just as if you already had them installed on this PC. Pretty cool, right? I'll answer for you. Yes. I've used this technique for ages. I have lots of PCs that I test on my channel, but even for my own personal use, sometimes it's just easier to have the games on an external drive because installing a game on each computer I use and making sure that it's updated on each computer every time I go to use it isn't nearly as convenient as just having it on a drive that I can bring between my computers. So I told you I'd tell you about the Lexar drive that I'm using and it's time to fulfill that prophecy. This thing is the new Lexar Play 2230 NVMe drive. This thing is in the M.2 2230 form factor, so it's perfect for devices like the DEC or the ROG Ally, but of course you can use it in pretty much any device that takes an NVMe drive, including an external enclosure. This thing uses a PCIe Gen 4x4 connection, so game loading speeds will be pretty much as fast as you could possibly get in an external drive. Lexar sponsored this video, so thanks Lexar. If you'd like to get one of these to use as an external drive or an internal drive or as an upgrade for your Steam Deck or to chuck at your neighbor because he's a jerk and to prove that you're so much better than him because you can afford to pelt him with NVMe SSDs, then I'll include a link to this in the description below. And that brings us to the end. Thanks for watching that stuff. If you like this video, then check out this video, my SSD upgrade guide for the Steam Deck. If you have a Steam Deck, you'll love that video. And if you don't, then watch one of my other videos or something. I, I can't do everything for you. I'm not your mother. And if I was your mother, I'd tell you to eat your broccoli. I know it's gross, but eat it anyways. It's healthy and you'll die if you don't. And that's it from me. I'm Tech Dweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.